So there has been another unfortunate grounding in Hawaii. The vessel, which appears to be a former military boat, was left unattended in the Ma'alea Bay in Maui. I hope I pronounced that right. During massive storms on Tuesday last week, the vessel was washed ashore and is beached as seen in the photographs here. Now the vessel is believed to be 25 meter or 84 foot in length and has the name Chaparral painted on the hull with the number seven painted on the bow. Now we have a man on the ground in Maui, Guy Lawrence, who is a subscriber of the channel. And he spoke to the Coast Guard personnel on the scene uh, when he visited the vessel a couple of days ago. And he says that they claim that it is a surplus military ship that has been turned into a pleasure craft. As you can see from the photos here supplied by Guy Lawrence, uh, the, uh, there is a telescopic shelter on the aft deck that presently encloses a hot tub and it has a metal hull and a recovery hanger ramp on the back for a rib. Now a hazmat handling company has been seen pumping out all the fluids. I think we know where this is going. The operator of that company told us via Mr. Lawrence that the hull had multiple holes in it. Uh, it's completely beached and certainly would further damage the reef as the Nakoa did in Honolulu, Honolulu Bay last year. The owner of the boat, who lives on another island, had to fly over to Maui to deal with his vessel. It is, according to the local news, the second vessel owned by the same person that has run aground in this fashion in the last few months. Now, we believe this other photograph here is the other vessel that he owns. Now, while we were researching this vessel to try to find out what kind of uh, vessel, former military vessel it may have been, we found this photograph of a torpedo retriever from the 1980s. The ramp on the on the stern there appears to be where the torpedoes would have been placed and loaded and retrieved from the water. What's interesting is the vessel has the number seven painted on the hull currently, and this vessel was listed with the following text next to it. An aerial starboard quarter view of the torpedo retriever number seven, TR7, during an exercise near San Diego dated the 29th of the 6th, 1983. Now this vessel has the number seven still painted on the hull. And I believe that is the original um, font. Uh, the, the color and font that's used in, in a military vessel is that color, right? So now I know we have former US military personnel watching. So if you can confirm that this is that type of vessel, I believe it is the same vessel, but it would be nice, interesting to hear from anybody who knows any more about this type of vessel. Now, the fact that they're busy removing fluids from the vessel seems to suggest that the same fate as the Nakoa awaits this former military vessel, which is sad for a former military vessel to end its life in this way. The Nakoa, if you remember, was drained of all the fluids and anything that had any Im environmental impact. And then it was towed out to sea by a ship as fast as possible. And then it and they went out as far as they could until the vessel actually sank. And it looks like the fact that this has got holes in it, that vessel was worth over a million dollars, by the way, and they still let it sink. So this one, uh, I think it's its fate is sealed here. Anyway, we'll bring you more information once we have it. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.